One day, a man with leprosy came to Jesus. Leprosy was a wildly spread skin disease. Lepers had disfigured skin and open wounds. Many people were afraid to get infected by them, so they had to live outside the cities and villages so that the people did not get close to them. This man asked Jesus, If you want to, you can heal me. I want to, Jesus replied, and touched him with his hand. Immediately, his skin turned normal again, and he was completely healed from his illness. Jesus told him, Don't tell anyone that you were healed. Only go and show the Jewish leaders that you have been healed. One day, an officer of the Roman army came to Jesus and asked him for help. My servant is sick and will probably die soon. Jesus offered to come to his house and see the servant, but the officer declined. I am not worthy for you to enter my house. He knew that Jews were not allowed to be in the house of a person with another faith. He continued, I know that you have the power to heal my servant without even touching him. Jesus was impressed by the great faith of the officer. In all of Israel, I have not found a man with a faith this huge. Go, your servant is healed. In that moment, the officer's servant was completely healed. Yeah. One day, Jesus visited Peter. Peter was one of his friends that are called the disciples. Peter's mother-in-law was at home and had a high fever. Jesus touched her hand and the fever immediately left her. She got up, cooked some food, and served Jesus and his disciples. Oftentimes, people would come to Jesus wanting to follow him. Jesus warned them. Foxes have caves to live in, and birds have nests. I, on the other hand, do not know where I will sleep tomorrow. Are you ready to live a life like that? Another man wanted to follow Jesus, but asked to bury his father first. Let the dead bury their dead, and follow me now, Jesus challenged him. One day Jesus crossed a lake with his friends, the disciples. While they were crossing, a storm appeared. It was so heavy that the disciples were afraid of the boat sinking. Jesus did not know what was happening because he had fallen asleep before the storm appeared. The disciples woke him shouting, Jesus save us! We're sinking! Jesus got up and turned towards the storm. Be calm! Immediately, the storm stopped and the waves disappeared. Jesus asked his disciples, Why are you afraid? Are you still not trusting God to protect you? But they were so confused and stunned, asking each other, who is this Jesus? Even in the wind and the waves listen to him and obey his command. Jesus arrived at one end of a lake with his friends, the disciples. A man that was occupied by an evil spirit came running towards them. He was wild, ran around naked, and was living in a graveyard. Oftentimes people in the area had tried to put him in chains, but he would always break out with his bare hands and escape. Jesus told the demons inside this man to leave, for he did not just have one demon, but many. The demons begged Jesus to not send them to hell. Close by, there was a herd of pigs, so they asked Jesus to send them to the pigs. Jesus heard them and cast them out of the man. The demons left the man and went into the pigs. The whole herd went insane and then jumped off of the cliff. All of the pigs died. The man, however, was free and sane and began talking with Jesus. When the people living in the village heard what had just happened, they asked Jesus to leave. To the freed man, Jesus said, Stay here and tell everyone what has happened. Tell them that God has set you free. <laughs>